Sports. We have a Monday night of basketball for you. Tonight, it'll be the Houston Rockets going up against the Brooklyn Nets. With Grant Hill and Clark Kellogg, I'm Brian Anderson. Allie LaForce is our reporter. And checking out Brooklyn's opening lineup, Bridges and Johnson work as the forwards. Then it's Nicholas Claxton. Then it's Cam Thomas. And it's Dinwiddie in at the point. And for the Rockets, Green and Brooks on the perimeter. Smith plays the four with Shingoon at the five. And it's Van Vliet in at the point. Well, Clark, one thing you love about this time of year, every team in the league still has a chance to do great things. Yeah, and you know, for some teams, B.A., that means winning a championship. For other teams, that just means continuing to move in a positive direction. It'll be the Nets off the tip. Dinwiddie with it. And there's the call on Dylan Brooks. That's his first foul. And you hope this early foul doesn't dissuade his aggressiveness. Houston on D. Pass to Dinwiddie. Just five on the clock for three. Bridges. And the rebound goes to the Rockets. And without a superstar scorer, Grant, the question has always been, how does this Nets team generate enough offense? Yeah, well, hero ball is not going to work. I mean, they've got to push the pace and trust one another and go from good shot to great shot. Here's Thomas. Pass to Dinwiddie. Floats one. And he lays it in. The first of many tonight. Both teams have legit offensive talent. Boy, I tell you what, that's going to be like a pinball machine, the way that scoreboard's going to light up. Now here's Shangun. Back to Van Vliet. Brooks outside. Shot clock at six. It's blocked. And so it looks like it'll be Houston's ball. Three seconds left. And he nails the jumper. And so Denwitty will bring it up for Brooklyn. And we're about a minute and a half into the first quarter. Another shot. Rebounded by Green. For Houston, they've gone one for three so far. Here's Brooks. The shot comes out. And maybe they're a little too excited today. They need to settle down. They've opened up one for four. Pass to Johnson. Let's go with a three. Yes. And a nice assist from Dinwiddie. You don't want to let him get into a rhythm from out there. Van Vliet against Dinwiddie. Fires at the elbow. Excellent D there from Dinwiddie. He was so well positioned to interfere with the shot. Yeah, I agree with you. I mean, he challenged the shot, and you can see the effects on the release of that shot. I mean, it turned a simple jumper into a tough one. Now here's Claxton. Johnson passes to Dinwiddie. Just five to shoot. Battles through traffic and lays it in. And, you know, coaches will take possessions like that all day long. Phenomenal use of the screen there. Here's Green. Brooklyn with the board. Well, you know, this is what happens. You can't afford to lose concentration even for a nanosecond. Oh, Brooks with the steal. In transition, here they come. And it's hammered home by Green. Terrific job by Green utilizing that world-class speed to get out ahead of everybody else. Pass to Dinwiddie. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Dinwiddie's got six. Seems like he can't miss right now, guys. I mean, completely in the zone this quarter. Time called here. The Rockets decide to talk it over. 
Grant, your first year in the league, 1995, the Houston Rockets were NBA champs. Oh, B.A., I mean, Hakeem the Dream made facing that team a nightmare. He was everywhere defensively, long and quick on his feet. That 95 Houston team was incredible. And the Rockets going with a whole new group out there. A big group substitution here for Brooklyn. Watford's checked in for Claxton. Finney Smith comes in for Johnson. O'Neal, he's checked in for Bridges. And it's Smith in for Thomas. Now here's Easton. Oh, can't get it. Misses his first attempt. And we're just over three and a half minutes into this first quarter. Green against Smith. And stolen by Green. In transition. And the basket by Holiday. And you can tell they're in sync right now. Expertly turning the steal into fast break points. Then when he passes to Watford. Now Finney Smith. And he locks it up top. Alley oop up top. Hammer it home. Really good pass from Finney Smith. He understands that you can't squeeze that orange if you've got somebody ready to catch and shoot. Not watching the line there. That'll be a backcourt violation. Let's see some of the numbers here for him. And so it's Brooklyn with it. Pass to O'Neal. Holiday against Dinwiddie. There's 38 seconds left in the first quarter. Clock at six. And again, it's Brooklyn. You know the coaches hated that shot. But guess what? Some of them go in. It's Thompson. High post. Finney Smith's there. Thompson shot is off. And here's Dinwiddie. He'll bring it up for the Brooklyn Nets. They lead by seven. They're getting their first look of the season at the Rockets in this one. Yeah, they had some trouble with this team last year, splitting the season series. Yeah, you know, most teams have games where they wish they could get a mulligan or take it back. Well, last year, their one loss in this series was one I know they wanted back. Good on the free throw. And he sinks the second. 15 seconds left to play in the first. Now Thompson hasn't gotten one to fall yet. Over Smith. The Rockets again can't hit. And that concludes the first quarter of play. It's the Nets leading by eight. After this break, we'll be back with the start of the second quarter on 2K Sports. Thanks again for tuning in. If you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter of action so far. And looking at what we've seen from the Nets, what do you think, guys? 
They're off to a rock solid start. They brought a well thought out plan into this one. Yeah, you know what? Makes it really easy for the coaching staff in that case. No adjustments needed. Just keep on keeping on. And Grant, you talked about it early in your playing days, blaming yourself for the Pistons not winning. Talk about that pressure on the best player to deliver wins. Well, B.A., the pressure is real, and it's tough to keep perspective and just control what you can control. When you're tasked with leading a team to victory, you expect it first and foremost from yourself. Smith plays the four with Shingun at the five. Van Vliet and Green man the backcourt, and it's Brooks in at the three spot. That's the group starting the second quarter for the Rockets. A chance here to catch up with Allie from the sideline. Mikel Bridges is a premier defender. He said, quote, people take it for granted how tough it is to guard the top perimeter players in this league and not be able to really touch them because they're going to get the foul call. You've got to guard these matchups one-on-one, -on -one, and I think we get taken for granted. B.A., he's on point. Yeah, he does have a point there. Thanks, Allie. Now here's Smith. No point so far. Here's Thomas. Back to Smith. The three is up. Drops in the three. Well, Smith is both a volume and efficient three-point scorer. I mean, he shoots a lot of them, but he makes a good percentage of them, too. Here's Brooks. And the shot goes. Brooks has gotten his second bucket. You know, with his handles, he excels at tricking up the defense and getting the good looks he wants. And Grant, this Nets team trying to set their identity at the defensive end of the floor. Yeah, well, with the players they have on the wings, led by Mikael Bridges, they have the personnel to be disruptive. Long, mobile, and switchable, they give you lots of trouble. Now here's Smith. And right now, he's currently putting up six and a half points per game. Smith showing outstanding concentration on these hard shots, even as he's getting hit. Smith against Van Vliet. With the teardrop. Oh, the double clutch. The basket drops, and he gets fouled on the shot. One free throw coming his way. Oh, fantastic adjustment on the shot against tight defense. All right, guys, some stats here. The scoring breakdown for the Nets. Well, you got to be impressed with how selfless they've been so far. Their passing has been simply outstanding. Something else they're doing well tonight, guys. Lots of points in the paint. Mind Something the to continue to Mind keep our eye on. One shot. Shingun, no good on the free throw. Ah, the kid from Turkey, Alperin Shingun. Clark, he's really figured it out quickly. He sure is, B.A. I mean, scoring has not been a problem for Shingun. A bit undersized as a center, but he's found a way to beat teams with his quickness, and it's all about utilizing your strengths. And the sooner you figure that out, the better off you are. Now here's Van Vliet. And very elusive. Van Vliet slipping through the defense and drawing contact. And the first one at the line is good. Well, Grant, the Rockets finished at the bottom of the Western Conference for three straight seasons and got some high draft picks as a result. And B.A., no one likes losing, but Houston has to be happy with the talented young prospects they've been able to select. It'll be interesting to watch their growth as individuals and as a team. That's what he does, rock solid at the line. Van Vliet against Smith. Outside Johnson from behind the arc. It's rebounded by Shangoon. The Rockets trail. Here's Smith. Nice start for him. Sinking his first shot. They didn't do themselves any favors with their shooting in the first quarter. But they're starting to pick it up now. Sometimes, for whatever reason, a lot of times you, you don't know why. It takes a little while to work the knots out. But it looks like they're putting it together right now. And they blow the whistle just as he gets it off. That's two points with a chance at another one at the stripe. And you can't afford to give him any space in the screen and roll. Dennis Smith exploits that well. Some changes for Brooklyn. Finney Smith's checked in for Johnson. 
O'Neal comes in for Bridges, and it's Dinwiddie in for Smith. for the Houston Rockets. They've been in rebuild mode for a couple of seasons now. Yeah, trying to build back up to being a force in the West, Brian. Some decent young talent. You tweak the roster a little bit, and good things can develop. And it's Green missing. Brooklyn has gone one of two from deep in the second quarter. Shot from the wing. The Rockets pull it in. Defeated by Milwaukee in their last game. They'll try to put that one behind them. I actually thought their execution at times was excellent, but they failed to come through in those important moments. And, you know, it's never easy trying to win away from home. They were close, but just needed a little more push at the end. Now here's Dinwiddie coming off a 16-point game against Golden State. Oh, man, take a look at that one. Just a textbook alley-oop. Beautifully done. He served it up on a platter. And a nice touch on the finish. Time called here. The Rockets decide to talk it over. Failing to find a rhythm offensively. Something that needs to change and change soon. And I think this timeout, guys, is where you draw up some plays that are guaranteed to create some high percentage shots. And a quick look at the 2K leaderboard, showing which teams have really been controlling the glass over the last month. Second, Houston. And last month, this team was active on the glass, really put forth an effort to box out and track down misses. A minute four left in the second. Thompson against Dinwiddie. Thompson in the post. He drains that one after two misses. Now one for three. And so Dinwiddie will bring it up for the Brooklyn Nets. It's the last leg of what's been a daunting road trip. Six games in total. Can't get it to drop. Eason with some nice D. For Houston, they've gotten five of seven shots to fall in the second. Pass to Tate. Let's it go from 14. And it's Thomas with the rebound. Now, there's an example of good defense beating good offense. Three-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. And it's O'Neal off the drive. Tries again. Here's Claxton. And the powerful one-handed slam. And I just love how he's making the effort plays that everyone around him appreciates. It is certainly making an impact tonight. Well, you know, if you're not going to take care of the defensive glass, it's going to be hard to come away with the win. No, oh, just an easy reverse for him. He has nice feel and touch around the bucket. And so it's the Brooklyn Nets up by a healthy eight points at the end of the period. Their key to consistency has been their dominance in the paint. They've been the more physical team. More NBA on 2K Sports right after this. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey again, everybody. I'm Ernie Johnson. Shaq is here. Kenny's here. You're watching the NBA Halftime Show on 2K Sports. It's Brooklyn out in front at the half. They have a solid eight-point lead. And over to Shaq. What do you think about Brooklyn? They're in good shape thanks to the work they're doing on the glass. Uh, their effort has been excellent. The numbers are, too. 
And I don't see those numbers dropping off. They're going to keep doing the dirty work in the second half. And over to Kenny. What did you think about the Rockets? Well, I know everyone loves them. You know this thing. You don't get championships without defense. And right now, they're not making an effort on the defensive end. They need to be serious about it and start harassing the ball handlers and pressuring the shooters. And that's a wrap for our halftime show. The third quarter just about to get started. And we've got third quarter basketball here. Two quarters in the books. Checking out the group for Jock Vaughn to start the second half. Johnson at the four with Claxton at center. Then it's Cam Thomas. Right then it's Mikhail Bridges. And it's Dinwiddie in at the point guard position. Now here's Van Vliet. Smith left side. Four on the clock. Shoots over Johnson. Here's Shangoon. And a nice finish on the layup. Fighting to earn the second chance opportunity on the foul shot. This is exactly what Coach wants from Shangoon. Van Vliet against Dinwiddie. Thomas passes to Dinwiddie. Deflects the pass. Here's Brooks. Oh, not wasting any time and taking the shot and hitting it. Brooks has got six points. Such a reliable mid-range shooter. Brooks doesn't hesitate when he sees an opportunity to rise up from there. From deep, Johnson. And the basket's good. Off the assist from Dinwiddie. Dinwiddie's got three assists now in this one. Outside, Green. Oh, Jalen Green with the sweet stroke. Well, I like this execution coming out of the half. Solid. Three for four from the field so far. To the middle. Here's Claxton. Nice dish, and the layup goes down. 11 points in the game. <laughs> a great move. I mean, the defense has no response. Yeah, if that's a harbinger of things to come, he's looking at having a very big second half. Ooh, he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. It's on Nick Claxton. You can almost see the hunger and focus in the eyes of Alperon Shangun. I mean, this guy completely locked in on doing as much as he can for his team when he's out there. That free throw good from Shangun. Watford's checked in for Brooklyn. Smith comes in for Thomas. Free throws good from Shingun. The Nets with the lead. Bridges outside. The shot no good. Good work defensively by Brooks. Here's the floater. Rebounded by Johnson. A little hesitant. Maybe he thought the D was tighter on him than it really was. And he'll take a trip to the line for two. Clearly got fouled on that shot. And one of the better defenders in the league, Grant, Mikhail Bridges. He'll lock you down. Oh, he will be a often matched up against the opponent's best score. And he is just so fierce. But he also helps you generate offense, hitting threes and extending the defense to create room to operate. Shooting two. That's good from Bridges. And every year, Bridges seems to take another leap. His work ethic and drive to improve is impressive.
Bridges hits them both. The Rockets have gone three of five from the field in this third quarter. Dinwiddie against Green. Out to the wing. Smith against Dinwiddie. Late clock. Houston's got to hurry. Brooks from outside sinks the tray. Brooks has got five points in the quarter. And you can see Smith has the vision. Now, it'll be interesting to watch that part of his game continue to develop. Watford the pass to Smith. Three minutes gone now in the third quarter. You know, one of the basic fundamentals in basketball is the ability to box out. He's got that down pat. Here's Denwitty. Gets it to go from eight feet. Denwitty's got 11 points. There's a minute 54 left in the third. Pass to Shangun. That shot off the mark. Yeah, we're not used to seeing him get bottled up like that. Wow. Bridges banked it in off the glass. And it's a seven-point Nets lead. Can't leave anybody open around Smith. I mean, he finds him quickly. Love his court awareness. Now a timeout called by Houston. Adjustments are a part of every game and every quarter of a game. I think Coach sees something here. And you know what? We'll see what changes he makes coming out of this timeout. And a new group getting ready for the Rockets. Green's checked in for Shangun. Eason comes in for Smith. Tate's checked in for Green. And it's Thompson in for Van Vliet. Finney Smith's checked in for Brooklyn. O'Neal comes in for Bridges. Now here's Thompson. Pass to Brooks. Tate with it from the arc. And Watford pulls it down. Watford's got four rebounds now. And they just continue to dominate the boards. Guys, I think they've simply been the more physical team, and that's why they're ahead. Hey, they're just getting pushed around inside. Yeah, you can't say that with enough emphasis. I mean, the defenders are just not being aggressive enough down low. you got to play with some physicality in the paint. Here's Brooks. It's stolen by Johnson. All alone on the break. And there's Dinwiddie. That one's good. On the assist by Johnson. Dinwiddie's got 13. Very consistent tonight at the offensive end. Right there, he helps fuel the fire. Pass to Tate. And another miss by Houston. And just not allowing the shooter to get comfortable for mid-range. As a defender, he's going to just be a bothersome, worrisome guy. Making you miserable all night. A hand in your face on every jump. Now here's Thompson looking to end the run. And he takes it up and lays it in. Thompson's got his third basket of the night. He's got a knack for finishing inside. That's easy money. Now here's Dinwiddie. And he lays it up and in. He is torching a defense that simply has no answers for him. It was the exact same kind of offensive showcase for him in their last game, too. When it happens this often, that's... Uh... That's not a pattern. That's uh, a characteristic. And so it's Brooklyn closing out the quarter ahead by 11 points. What has them in front right now, by and large, they're taking great shots. We'll be right back with you shortly.
And let's take this opportunity to show you our State Farm assist of the game. And he definitely deserves the award. Reading the defense like a point guard. Terrific versatility coming from a big man. Not something that the majority of big guys possess. Well, there may not be a lot of drama down the stretch as we head into the fourth quarter, but stranger things have happened. Van Vliet and Green man the backcourt. Smith plays the four with Shingoon at the five. And it's Tate in at the three slot. So that's who's on the floor for the Rockets. Here's Van Vliet. That's tipped and stolen by Bridges. Dinwiddie against Van Vliet. Pass to Thomas. Who poked away. Outside, Green. Takes the hit and scores inside, Green. Green doing work inside. Feels like he can score on just about anybody. Here's Thomas. Count the basket. And force feeding the ball inside. I mean, no reason to go away from what's working. And when you make five in a row in close like that, it also takes pressure off your perimeter guys, too. Pass to Tate. And it goes. As the official calls the foul, count it, and he'll shoot one more at the line. And a closer look here at the scoring breakdown for the Nets. They feel like they have an advantage inside. And so far, they have done an excellent job exploiting it. And I've also noticed how opportunistic they've been off turnover. Doing a really good job taking advantage of the opponent's mistakes. That one misses from Tate. Well, you talk about a player who's all heart. That's Jay Sean Tate, Clark. Absolutely, and he's overcome so much. Family tragedy at a young age, told he was too small, undrafted, spent some time in Europe to refine his game through it all. Smiling and working hard is what Jay Sean Tate has been about. Couldn't be happier for that young man. We're just over a minute and a half now into the fourth. Here's Green. And it's Thomas with the rebound. Thomas has got four rebounds in the game. And they're up considerably because of their efforts on the glass. Yeah, rebounding has been a big key in this one. They've asserted their will and have taken control on the glass. Here's Tate. No good there. That would have cut it to single digits. And here's Dinwiddie. He'll bring it up for the Nets. To the paint. Ooh, stolen by Smith. To the inside. Here's Green. Green taking the bump. Yeah, the first half was one to deep six or forget. But in the second half, he's looked a lot better. Timeout called. Brooklyn.
And keeping us updated from the sideline, Allie LaForce. Thanks, guys. I was able to hear Jacques Vaughn coaching his team during the break. He applauded their shooting and their shot selection, saying, we're taking the right threes, not forcing anything. Keep doing that, and they'll continue to fall. Makes the game easy, doesn't it? Allie, thank you. Out of bounds. It'll be Rockets ball. And the Rockets making a change here. Brooks is checked in. Finney Smith's checked in for Brooklyn. Over two and a half minutes in the books here in the fourth. Van Vliet scanning the floor. Shoots over Dinwiddie. Van Vliet misses. Boy, that's got to be terribly frustrating there. I mean, with the defense not hustling and he still misses, boy, he wishes he had that one back. Dinwiddie passes to Thomas. Now Bridges. Back to Thomas. Clock at four. Let's it fly. And count that. Two points and a chance for one more at the line. And just totally relentless. Only increasing the intensity level. Yeah, I love the fact he doesn't play the score. He just keeps coming. Attack mode. He doesn't know how to step off the gas pedal. We've got 155 left in the fourth quarter here. And here's Van Vliet from the arc. Rebound Brooklyn. Claxton's got five rebounds tonight. Bridges down low. Guarded by Van Vliet. Bridges misses. When you're wide open like that, no need to fade away. Here's Green. In close. Green puts it in. Well, we're seeing validation as to why Green went second overall in the draft. He's got a unique ability to score the ball. Dinwiddie outside. Offensive rebound. Claxton. Another basket. He's now six for seven in the contest. Second chance points are always painful. Have to make the effort to box out. Hey, guy standing around spectating. I mean, you got to get in there and get tough. And that one's good. Green. No wasted motion or hesitation there. Green ready to shoot as soon as he caught it. Brooklyn has gone three of six from deep so far. Van Vliet against Dinwiddie. I love great defense. Just quick to establish his feet, and he takes the hit. And not afraid to put his body on the line either. He took a shot for the team in that situation. Now a timeout called by Houston. They're behind by nine. There's 53 seconds left in the fourth quarter here. And now let's present our New Balance player of the game. You know, I've really liked how aggressive he's been getting inside. He's finding lanes and avenues to the rim and making the defense pay when he does get inside. Um, I thought he really helped lead the charge for his team. Man, if only he could play this well every night. This hometown crowd was not prepared for him to just go off like he did in this one.
There's 53 seconds left in the fourth quarter. And here's Van Vliet from the arc. Outside, green. Six on the shot clock. Three-pointer, no good. Dinwiddie against Van Vliet. 23 seconds left in the fourth quarter. And there's Bridges. That's good. On the assist by Dinwiddie. And the Nets lead by 11. And just not enough time for them to get back in this game. Not by a long shot. It's all but official. The 15-footer. The Rockets again can't hit. So we see the Nets taking the W here. Exceptional effort on the road. They were ready and they were focused. Focused indeed. I mean, it takes a strong mental approach to block out the distractions. These guys stepped up 100%. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Clark Kellogg, Allie LaForce, and Grant Hill, this is Brian Anderson. And we'll see you next time.